Hey everyone, welcome back. And there was no video yesterday because of what today is. Happy Sunday. My name is Caleb. Welcome back. And not that it's a big deal or anything, but today, the 14th of January, is my birthday. So, to celebrate my birthday with y'all, I thought we would be reacting to some scary TikToks. So, let's get started. Part 1. In 2014, Oscar Reyes participated in the Selfie Olympics and took a photo of himself hanging from his bathroom door. A few seconds later, he slipped and fell, hitting his head on the toilet and dying from severe blood loss. Andrew McCauley attempted to be the first man to kayak from Australia to New Zealand. He took this selfie and texted his family that he would be home soon, but drowned just 30 miles away from the finish line. In 2011, three teens in Utah took this selfie together on the train tracks. It appears to be a happy, ordinary photo, but the glare on the right side of the screen is from the train that runs into them just a few seconds later. Scary things caught on camera that you weren't meant to see. Jenna and Jesse are two hosts of a well-liked YouTube channel. One day, they both decide, along with a close friend, to explore an abandoned prison, but what they find will shock you. At about 11 and a half minutes into the video, a shadowy figure appears behind Jesse. Take a look. To see if he did. So it's for you now. And uh, we did a seance. It echoes so... This is already creepy, but what would make it creepier is that this could be the shadow of a real person, even though the prison is abandoned. Let me know what you think in the comments and follow so you don't miss more stories. Wow. These are serial killers who need shows, part one. Up first is Dennis Rader, also known as the BTK killer. And between 1974 and 1991, he killed 10 people in Wichita and Park City, Kansas. He also sent taunting letters to the police and media news outlets, bragging and explaining his crimes in detail. But after taking a decade off a of killing, Dennis Rader wanted to resume, so he began sending letters again to the police, saying the BTK killer is back, which ultimately led to him getting arrested. But what makes the BTK killer so weird is that he tied himself up and did the same things to himself that he would do to his victims because he liked it that much. I know the series Mindhunters covered the BTK killer, but it wasn't his own standalone show. I think he's an extremely interesting individual that people would find disturbing and fascinating. Mm -hmm. Disturbing facts that will ruin your life. You can be declared dead in some states, but considered alive in others. That's because New York and New Jersey allow families to reject the concept of brain death if it goes against their religious beliefs. One of the first visible signs of death is when the eyes cloud over as fluid and oxygen stop flowing to the corneas. That can happen within 10 minutes after death if the eyes were open. Today, there are about 300 bodies frozen in liquid nitrogen in America in the hope that science will one day be able to bring them back to life. It's a myth that hair and nails grow after death. What really happens is that the body dries out, so the nail beds and skin on the head retract, making nails, stubble, and hair appear longer. Rigor mortis is only temporary. It's a result of certain fibers in the muscle cells becoming linked by chemical bonds, but usually goes away in a day or two as those bonds break down. How long it lasts depends on the temperature in the environment, among other factors. Disturbing things caught in elevators. It's always best to let machines work as intended. These kids, who live in the building, likely didn't expect to be in a living nightmare. While goofing around on the elevator, the little boy in the video pressed his foot into the door of the elevator. Suddenly, without warning, the door buckles. There were no known issues with the elevator. This simply was an out-of-left-field occurrence. The building tried to sue for compensation, whereas the child's parents claimed they should be grateful. If all it took was a little pressure from a kid for this much damage to occur, imagine if things had gone just a little bit worse. Yeah. These are dark web stories that you are never supposed to know, but I'm telling you about them anyways. Oh yeah, viewer discretion is advised. 
So this is a story known as the human experiment. The dark web holds some of the most gut-wrenching, abnormal things that you have ever seen and will ever see. One of those being human experiments. Basically, it's like this. A bunch of dark web workers on a website claim that they have multiple locations all across the world where people can just go and commit horrific acts on people that they have kidnapped. Now, the website actually has some pretty crazy story descriptions as to what their customers have actually done with things like injecting pregnant women with bleach, starvation, and even beating and torturing people endlessly. The website even claims that their experiments are strictly done on homeless people, and that is it, and strictly for experimental purposes only. But like that makes this situation any better. In fact, it is even more terrifying that they're out looking for people on the daily. If you want to hear more stories like this, leave a like and follow, and tell me what you thought. These are eight horrifying facts that will probably keep you up at night. There's a one in three chance police will never identify your killer if you were murdered in the United States. If the sun exploded now, you wouldn't know about it for another eight minutes. 20% of children report hearing voices. There are 40 super volcanoes around the world capable of claiming a billion lives. And we are about 24,000 years overdue for an eruption. The air you breathe in train stations is 15% human skin. There are over 200 dead bodies on top of Mount Everest because retrieving them is such a risk. They serve as markers for other hikers. When you die, your house cat is going to want to eat you. Speaking of pets, dogs like squeaky toys because they mimic the screams of their prey. Yeah, there's a lot more, like for part two. Scary things caught on camera. Bailey is a TikTok user who works in a so-called haunted theater. As the story goes, the owner of the theater apparently died 30 years ago in a tragic accident and still haunts his theater to this day. One night when Bailey is alone in his job, he finds something terrifying. Take a look. All right, guys, so I work at this uh, old theater, and I've been noise. Follow if you saw anything. Oh, This is the scary story about the broken down car. There was a man named Alex who never got an Uber before. He didn't trust them and was honestly scared of strangers. But one day his car broke down and in a last resort, he called an Uber. When the Uber got there, it was an old elderly man. Alex then got in the car and said hello. The man then said, if you're thirsty, I have some water bottles back there. Alex was super thirsty and immediately drank the whole bottle. But seconds later, he passed out. When Alex woke up, he found himself in a small creepy room with both of his hands chained to the wall and his left leg cut off. Alex then began screaming hysterically and suddenly the old man came into the room and said, you better get used to this place, my friend, because you're going to die here. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew, part 20. During World War II, Disney released their own version of the gas mask designed to make them less creepy for children. In 2014, after losing her five-day-old baby boy, a mother attached a gravestone to a sandbox so her older son could play with him. The CPR doll's face that we use today is actually from a 19th century drowned woman's face. There's a forbidden island off the coast of Brazil called Snake Island that's home to more than 2,000 deadly golden lancehead snakes. Starfish actually have hundreds of tiny little feet and are able to walk on land, but it looks absolutely horrifying. A man by the name of Timothy Clark Smith was so fearful that he was going to be buried alive that he had his own gravesite customized so he could have a window where his face was and also have a rope attached to a bell so he could ring it to alert people that he was alive. The story of Jeffrey Dahmer. He was an American serial killer and sex offender was born on May 21st, 1960. Between the years of 1978 and 1991, Dahmer murdered 17 males. His first kill was at the age of 18, while home alone during the summer. He hit him over the head, then dissected, dissolved and scattered remains throughout his backyard. Nine years later, he started to lure men from bars or solicited prostitutes. He would drug, rape, and strangled. Dahmer began to use the bodies for intercourse, taking photographs of the dismemberment process. 
preserving his victims' skulls and genitals for display and retaining parts for consumption. He was arrested for an incident at his job where he drugged and sexually fondled a 13-year-old boy. He was sentenced of five years probation, one year at a work release camp, and was required to register as a sex offender. Dama began killing around one person each week by the summer of 1991. A lobotomized victim even made it out onto the street to ask for help. When Dama returned, he convinced the police that the man was his intoxicated boyfriend. He became obsessed with the idea that he could turn his victims into zombies to act as youthful and submissive sexual partners. Dama was finally caught when one of his victims was able to get free and escape out into the streets where he found police and told them Dama had a knife. During an investigation of the home, they found a severed head in the refrigerator. Three more severed heads throughout the apartment, multiple photographs. He was sentenced to 15 life terms for a total of 957 years in prison and was killed while in prison by other inmates. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, guys, those were some creepy videos. Thanks for spending my birthday with me watching some creepy videos. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you beautiful people on Tuesday. Subscribe!